Good morning. It's May the 8th, the Wednesday morning. I'm Brett, your thankful carnivore, and this is today's Thankful Carnivore Report. Today's subject is t-shirts and other cool things. We had the coolest day yesterday with our t-shirt sales. We had our first customer who had purchased a shirt tweet their image of them wearing it. Blasting it all over Twitter for the world to see. Really nice lady. I appreciate her so much. And she was so happy she said she was going to order again. Now, you can't go wrong with your first public t-shirt order being picture perfect like that. And no, she wasn't a friend of the family. I swear, I don't know who this person is. And uh, But God bless her. We appreciate it. And we thank everybody. for. We've had a lot of orders come in. There hasn't been a day yet since the website went live that we haven't gotten orders. And we really appreciate that because that's going to be a big help in allowing me to continue to focus on promoting carnivory so that other people seeking information inspiration if they're looking for it, hope most definitely can find it through my story and my experiences. And I'm already learning that other people are being inspired and, and have jumped on the carnivory train because of things they've heard me say and do. And that is wonderful. That's why I tell my story and I want you to tell your story so that you can influence and help somebody in need learn to see that, yes, you can get better eating meat and drinking water. I learned it from that goofy ball guy wearing that orange shirt. And this is how I do it. And now you can do it in the way that works for you so that you can heal. That's the point of all this. T-shirts just keep money in the pipeline so the lights stay on, the air conditioner works, and I can buy my bacon. That's all. <laughs> the background behind me is not going to change. You're not going to suddenly see a ritzy new room or a fancy house. No, that's not what this is about. It's about being able to give people clothing that says, I'm a carnivore, or in this case, an apex predator. I eat meat and drink water. I'm not a sugar addict. Good stuff. Uh, some other great things. We're going to start uploading these periscopes to Instagram TV. I uploaded a little preview yesterday and got some got over 80 views in like the first three hours. I was like stunned. And I appreciate you guys on Twitter, you savages that watch me and respond. Thank you so much. It's such a kind thing you do. Don't forget on Instagram, it's at thankful.carnivore. On uh, Twitter, it's Stickman Bleeding, S T I C K M A N B L E E D I N. Uh, one of the things I've been asked a lot the last, let's say, 16 hours, it, it always comes to the do you, what do you do when you get tired of eating meat? I'm getting tired of eating meat, Brett. It's hard for me. I'm getting, I'm looking at that steak and I'm tired of eating steak. I don't want it. Oh. Well, first off, no one says you should only eat one kind of meat at a meal. I think that's the first mistake people make. You know, I have to eat ribeye. No, you don't. You can eat ground beef and get just as much nutrition out of it as you can a $40 ribeye. I mean, those tomahawk ribeyes look amazing, but I can't afford them. I don't even bother looking at them when I go to the meat counter. They're just out of our league. But 90-10 ground beef, right on the money. And you could have fish. You could do surf and turf every day. And you can get good fish to eat for not nearly as much money as it would cost to have a bunch of ribeyes. And fish and ground beef is just as much surf and turf as steak and shrimp or fish and shrimp and steak, however you like surf and turf, whatever works for you. I mean, there's options. For me, bacon is always in the mix. 
Even if I decide, which hasn't happened for many months, to eat something different like fish or shrimp or maybe some pork, which I used to eat in the early days of my carnivorous journey. Delicious. I loved it. It was wonderful. Now I don't crave it. That's the only reason I'm not eating it. So please, if you're getting bored or you're tired of eating meat, make sure you are eating meat you crave. Not the meat you think you're supposed to be eating. Eat what's appealing to you. Go to the meat counter. Look around. You know, you could be eating chicken. Some people, you know, my wife and son love chicken wings. They eat it with the skin on to make sure they get plenty of fat. And then they cook it with a ton of butter. They love them. I can't stand them. They're just as, they're thriving on it. Eat the meat you crave and can afford. Don't pigeonhole yourself into it just because of what Sean Baker or what bread or anybody else eats, that that's what you have to eat. Carnivory is very specific to the individual. Never forget that. Listen, I hope you guys have a great day. I appreciate people coming and chatting, and hanging out today and watching live on the Periscope app. Appreciate you all so much. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you all tomorrow. Eat some meat. Drink some water and be thankful.